Hello out there to you. In this video, we have a practice question for a factor market from a microeconomics course. We are told that you're starting a business with your cousin selling belt buckles. The price of the belt buckle is $6, and the minimum wage I have to pay workers is $10 per unit. We are going to complete the table. Okay. Uh, now, in this scenario, do you supply or demand labor? Well, we demand labor because we are the business, and we need workers. We need one through seven workers to make the belt buckles. And what we're trying to solve for is how many workers to hire. Okay, now it says here, what would happen to the marginal revenue product of each worker as more workers are hired? Well, that's gonna decrease because of diminishing marginal returns. They get less productive, the more workers we hire. Okay, well, let's fill in the chart here. Marginal product is the additional product from an additional worker. So it is the change in total product divided by the change in uh, labor units. Well, labor units changing by one. So it's just the change between here and here. So zero to uh, four, that is an increase of four. Okay, oops, let me make that a little bigger. Four is the change. And I want that to be 18. I don't know why it doesn't default. There we go. Okay, now the change here is six. So that means that the second worker gives us six more belt buckles than the previous worker. So this has to be 10. Okay, oops. And I don't know why I'm clicking a little bit off on that. And now it's back to not defaulting. There must be a default in there I don't know about. Uh, maybe we could just use the pen in the future. Okay. Uh, next, uh, it is four because that's the change from here to here. Next, the fourth worker gives us three more belt buckles than the previous worker, and that's 17. 17 to 19 is two. Uh, nine, the sixth worker gives us one more, so that's going to be 20. And the seventh worker is not very productive. So as a manager, I want to know why that's happening. This is why this is important. Students often ask me, why Why do we do this? Well, I want to know what's going on with sixth and seventh worker. So total revenue, this is going to be price times quantity. Very important uh, accounting and economics um, formula that we need to know. Uh, so it's just in this case, the belt buckles are being sold in a perfectly competitive environment, and it's just going to be uh, six. Oops. Type it in the wrong thing here. Okay, so that would just be six. And the next one is also six. Uh, nope, it's six times two, so that's 12. The next one is... Uh, 18, which is 6 times 3. I think I can do the rest by hand here. This is going to be 24, 30, uh, 36, and 42. Okay. Marginal revenue product is the additional revenue from each additional uh, product that we sell. Okay, so it's going to be the change in total product times the change in uh, price. But the change in price is, is just six. Okay, so it's just going to be six. We're just multiplying six times the marginal product of labor. So the first one is 24. In other words, that first worker is worth $24. The next worker is worth $36. You could think of this as marginal product times the price of the product. Okay. Uh, the next one is four times six is back to 24. Then 18, uh, 12, and six and zero. The last worker provides us no additional revenue. The marginal resource cost in this case is just going to be the wage. Okay, So it's the minimum wage. Now, you might be told in some other uh, scenario that the marginal resource cost changes. And that's uh, it's maybe a monopsony or something like that. But in this case, we're told it's $10. So 
we'll just copy that all the way down. And then finally, we want to know how many workers to hire. So we're going to say uh, the first worker, do we want to hire the first worker? So the first worker brings us $24. We only have to pay them 10. We do want that worker. I'll put a check mark over here, okay? Whether or not we want to hire the worker. Second worker, 36. Uh, we only pay them 10. Third worker, fourth worker, fifth worker. And then the sixth worker, no, because they only bring us six dollars we have to pay them ten so we would lose on that on that sixth worker so the profit maximizing uh, workers is five and this happens where the marginal revenue product uh, equals or is the last one where it's greater than uh, the wage okay and so that's how to fill in that chart and practice on a perfectly competitive factor market